Welcome back to Business Mathematics 2 MA1203. So we are still talking about linear programming. We are going to go deeper into what we usually call the graphical method. The graphical method. Okay. So uh, let's look at the last example on method of corner. That is this one. You know that this one you have infinitely many solution infinitely many optimal solution because you find two adjacent vertices two adjacent vertices that has the optimal solution okay so you have infinitely many solution that is infinitely many points that have that give you an optimal solution along the line segment that connecting those two points Okay, we will uh, look at this. We will uh, we want to know why is this happening? Why is this happening? Okay, yeah. so here is the domain. Here is the domain we are, that we are talking about. 2x plus 3y is less than 12. 2x plus y is less than 8. x must be greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. And then I want to check the optimal uh, function that is 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y okay let's look at the first 2x plus 3y eh, sorry this is 2x plus 3y eh? this is 2x plus 3y equal 0 2x plus 3y equal 0 oh this is 3, 3x 2y plus 2y okay eh? this is 3x plus y this is uh, when you have one solution when you have one solution okay eh? so you can uh, look at this objective function at, look at this objective function at b ah this will give you a profit of 8 so all of this line segment will give you a solution that the profit is 8 okay uh, and this is the uh, all points that will give you uh, the profit of 3 this is profit 0 and you can uh, move this, move this into the C point, that is the method of corner. You have 3x plus 2y equals 12. So all of this point will give you profit F12. So if you translate again, translate again the parallel lines, that is the same, 3x plus 2y, to F, then you have the optimal solution. That is one solution one solution so how can i look at this using the graphical solution one solution you look at the uh, objective function first of all that is z equals 3x plus 2y you can check 3 uh, 3x plus 2y at every corner points that is 3x plus 2y equals 0 here 3x plus 2y equals 8 here 3x plus 2y equals 12 here and 3x plus 2y equal 13 here so the optimal solution is just one point. What about if I have this one? I have the objective function is 2x plus 3y. So this is 2x plus 3y equals 0. So this is the profit when you are given the profit is 0. You can change this into uh, to dc. This is 2x plus 3y equals 8. Because you want to... Uh, uh, pass through this C point, 2x plus 3y equals 8. So all of this point will give you an, a solution that gives you the profit 8. And what about the last one? Ah, this All of this line will give you profit 12. Okay, so it makes sense. You have infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Okay, yeah. That's why you have the profit here is 12, and the profit here is 12 also. You have two points that have that have uh, 12 of your optimal solution. So, according to the, uh, that we have learned about the characteristic of linear programming, all of the points connecting these two lines, the adjacent lines, will give you an optimal solution of the, all of the line here, Connecting these two lines give you the optimal solution. Okay, that's why that's why we have infinitely many solutions. 
Okay, and the conclusion is here, if a linear programming problem has a solution, it must occur at a vertex or a corner point of the visible set. If the objective function is optimized at two adjacent vertices, then it is optimized at every point on the line segment jo joining the, these two four vertices, in which case there are infinitely many solutions to the problem. Okay, and this is on the existence of solution of linear programming problem. Suppose we are given a linear programming problem with a visible set S and an objective function P equals AX plus BY. If S is bounded, if the visible set is bounded, then P should have the maximum and minimum value on S. Okay, if S is unbounded and both A and B are non-negative, it should be positive. A and B is positive or zero, one of these can be zero, but uh, not two of this is zero. Then the minimum, the minimum, then P has a minimum on S provided that the constraint defining S include the inequalities X greater than zero and Y is greater than zero. If S is the empty set, then the linear programming problem has no solution. Okay, in case of unbounded, if A and B is positive or can uh, one of these can be zero, okay, then it can have a then P can have a minimum, a minimum if you include this inequality. Okay, but in your physical problem, uh, X and Y usually the number of units, so it should be non-negative also. Okay. So I think this is all for the linear programming uh, problem chapter. Uh, in the next chapter, we are going to discuss the linear programming problem, but with an algebraic approach, with an algebraic approach. Okay, thank you.